Adelaide. And I'm in El Paso, Texas right now, where I was born and raised at my father's gallery, the Hal Marcus Art Gallery. And I thought I would take this opportunity to share a little bit with you about some of my paintings here, particularly the originals, because I feel that photos don't do them justice, and that's usually the medium people get to see as far as uh, Facebook and my website and whatnot. So why don't we kind of look at this one over here. This is one of my most recent originals. It's called I Heart Music, and uh, the heart has a capital A-R-T in it, just like I like to um, express the, the connection between heart and artwork, and the music is, when I'm saying music, I'm really looking at it as a muse, a literally muse. Um, so, so this one is the first of a series that I'm really passionate about right now, and you know, I'm now getting more into writing music, into combining, creating art next to musicians and using lyrics from my music into creating paintings. So to me, music is the muse. And when I was getting ready for the show, I was painting like 12 hour days and the music is what kept me going. And so it really is a muse. And so this one here is the first of that series and the keyboards, um, came from, a, the inspiration came from a project I did, a big mural, and the project was for a house of musicians, and so I used that kind of winding keyboard to kind of take up space and bring in that like melodic good feeling that a keyboard would bring out. And uh, so, and it's also kind of playing with the Harlequins, which is like a strong symbol in a lot of my performance art lifestyle and in my dad's artwork. Here are some canvas chiclets, and I could talk about each piece forever, but I won't because I said I'm going to focus on some originals. Um, just take a quick little look over here. This, this really is an older piece, but it really shows a transition from my pen and ink or like pencil doodles into my, my art. In, as a painter, so it has acrylic paint. Now I'm working with oils. Um, pretty one of a kind because it has like the different textures and whatnot. Definitely not an average like Art by Adelaide signature to it, but pretty awesome. Here's another. This is one of the first paintings I ever painted. That one up there. Um, that one just sold today too. Moving on. Um, I won't take. You know, let's. Yeah. Let's go ahead and just straight shot over here. This is another one that just sold. I didn't even have her on my wall for a day. Um, but it's called Equilibrium, and I created it at a time in my life that I felt like I'm branching out, you know, in all different directions and growing and evolving as people do. But as much as that is happening, I'm feeling more and more and more need for the sake of my own sanity and creative focus to keep grounding down. So I really wanted to do a piece that showed the roots being just as um, large as the branches. Because if you think of a tree, a big, beautiful tree in the wind, well, the bigger the tree is, the more the wind has a chance to blow it over because that weight, once it gets tipped, so I don't want to be, you know, a large tree without roots that can easily be blown over. So this is one inspiration behind this piece. I also created these leaves falling and turning into, basically, they're being grabbed by the roots. So to me, that's another example of sort of being able to flip it over and having a tree, no matter how you look at this piece. Um, the leaves falling also kind of symbolize rain. So it has, it has different levels of like the natural phenomenon of our world. And it's a part of a series I'm doing called uh, Elemental alchemists. So it's all about the alchemy in nature and turning, you know, wind into water, water into fire, and all of that. Because um, alchemy is a magic that is a big part of my life and a big part of my art and heart. With capital A R T. Got that? All right. So moving on. Um, sip into creativity. So you can dip into it, like you're swimming like a diver, or you can sit into it. It really doesn't matter. This is a play on words. They're all a play on words. They're sort of bizarre, whimsical ways of expressing who I am in this world. And uh, like I could go on forever and ever, but 
basically, I really want you to be able to kind of see, you can zoom in or whatever, but you could walk in. Don't zoom because you lose quality. Not that really matters, but um, yeah, you know, in its own way, a sort of self-portrait. Again, me reaching out, the octopus and tentacles show that, the suckers kind of represent like the power of attraction, like to bring in what it is that you want in your life. And to me, nature and art are like in this dance because as you just heard, you know, that nature inspires me. And people like say, how do you get your inspiration? And I'm like, how does a tree get its inspiration? Like each tree is 100% unique. Like each river is 100% unique. Each rock, it's, it's something that seems so natural. And to me, to just open up to a, like getting started on a project and then seeing where it goes is, is like how nature does its thing. It's that flow, yo. So that's what that's about. That's my paintbrushes. Here is a self-portrait I did after India, and like it is a little bit darker, a little less whimsical and smiley. So I was going through a really interesting time in my life, and I was pretty sick. And uh, to me, this really was like, hey, I'm an artist, and I'm going to paint how I feel, period. Um, thankfully, most of my art is very <laughs> beautiful and colorful, and that's thankfully how I feel most of the time, but I wanted to express a really true, kind of subtle emotion, kind of like the Mona Lisa, it's just smiling, she's frowning, you know, um, it's a little bit unclear in that way. This is a, not an original, so I'm not going to spend that much time on it, um, but it's one of my biggest canvas prints, which is kind of fun, and I can't really get too close to her, but this is my newest, newest, and kind of marks, in my own personal opinion, a transition into like, okay, it's time to put more into each painting. Um, this one was inspired by the season of spring, and like we've talked about before, that like natural part, like no one has to teach a plant how to grow or how to reproduce or how, so here is, is a very sensual and sexy example of how we continue to continue to keep generating. So the plant is pollinating the earth and the earth is her and so it is a little bit, you know, orgasmic in that way where there is that cycle of pollination, regrowth and regrowth. But she's like Pachamama, you know, she is the woman of the of the earth and she's opening up her chest to show the sky in there and also to show that the plants are literally coming through her. She's not on the ground, she's not above the ground, she is the ground. And, uh, you know, in its own way, that expresses where I'm feeling I am at as a woman and coming into that just acceptance of the power of being able to recreate life and to accept, you know, sperm or pollination into a body and alchemize that into a human being. It's really beautiful and it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful painting. Hope you enjoy. I think we're getting at that mark. So I try to get a lot of information out really fast, but I hope that this gives you a little better um, idea of some of my inspiration of my current work. And once this all sells, which will be very soon, um, there'll be more. So keep your eye open and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're interested in all of the above, music, art, dance, and uh, magic, who knows what else. <laughs>